This video is all about Mesa Verde National Park in Colorado. It is the only national park in the U.S. that was built to protect man-made objects. We will get into all this and more in the video ahead. Let's go and see a little fun intro first. So Mesa Verde National Park. What is it all about? Well, it is a park in Colorado that was built to protect man-made objects, mostly buildings that were used by the Native Americans that were here many, many years ago. The dates of these pieces of architecture range all the way from the year 650 to the year 1285 when this area was abandoned by the Pueblo people. Apparently the area was abandoned in the year 1285 due to some political and environmental instability. <sighs> Kinda sounds like California right now. Yee. Now, I will say that it was a very, very incredible place. I had never seen anything like this other than when I went to Peru and saw Machu Picchu and the ruins there. I honestly didn't realize that this kind of place existed in the United States. When I think of United States old history, it's not old compared to most other countries. I think it's because what is highlighted in our history books is the predominantly white and uh, immigrant history of America, not necessarily the Native American history that was here. And seeing this old, old ancient structures dating back all the way to the year 650 was really quite amazing and didn't really feel like a place that would be in the United States. I really felt transported back to that time. They did an amazing job of preserving these structures you have these overhanging uh, areas because it does get quite hot. It's a desert-like climate, so they have thought of that and covered the structures also to prevent rain and other damage. So many of the areas do have covered uh, spots where you can learn all about them with placards, and they also have a lot of uh, park rangers nearby to answer any questions you might have about these structures. Another really cool thing about this park is you can kind of see the evolution of humanity. I mean, you can see the very early structures in the year 650 and then almost like a living timeline, you can walk from the old, old 650 year ruins to 700 year 700 ruins, uh, year 800 ruins, and just walk along and experience the timeline and notice how they have improved their structures over time. You can tell there's uh, the learning uh, passed down from generation to generation and it's just really wild to see. Now we did go to this national park in 2020, so unfortunately we were unable to take the tour of the cliffside dwellings which would have been awesome. Uh, I'm sure it's well worth it. But honestly, without going to that tour, it was still worth a stop. If you are in the area, I highly recommend it. If they have opened up those cliff dwelling tours, I would say it's a, a must see place, especially if you have um, children with you, they can learn a lot about the history of humanity and the history of the Native Americans and, and just how clever and smart we are as a species. One of my favorite places was the Sun Temple because they had built an intricate irrigation system there. It's really quite amazing to see just what they were able to do with very, very basic tools and how smart they were even back then. You know, our species has really done a great job of learning from past mistakes. And I'm sure this irrigation system just came from a necessity of having previous homes destroyed due to the rain and the other environmental issues in the area. So really being able to see the knowledge being passed down from generations is quite amazing to me. And I am from Minnesota, so being able to see the different types of cactus and plants there was kind of interesting to me. I like seeing uh, stuff, you know, that I don't normally see every day. And for me, it was kind of exotic. 
If you live in a desert climate, it's probably not gonna be as interesting to you, but for me, it was uh, really, really cool. Lots of uh, cliffs and other beautiful scenery also around the area. Overall, just a really great place to go and see. I think it's an often overlooked national park because it doesn't feature a lot of natural scenery and it's not really a place that you would probably uh, camp normally. But I will say I think it is a must visit location at least once in your lifetime because where else in the United States can you see architecture dating back to the year 650? I don't honestly know if there is any other place in the United States. As far as I'm aware, this is it. And you get a really, really good view of how we uh, have learned as a species and how we, how we take our past mistakes and build better structures. So without a doubt, you should go there, check it out. Please don't overlook this national park, especially if you're already in the Colorado area. That's going to do it for this video. Please subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. We will be featuring more national parks on this channel as well as other travel uh, videos and we also enjoy food quite a bit so you'll be seeing some food videos as well. Uh, please subscribe. If you have already subscribed, thank you. If you watch my videos, thank you and uh, we will see you next time.